business from big business, marketing and branding. Many small businesses, most of them aren't branded. They haven't done the work of branding, which makes it hard to do the marketing. Let's say you start a service business, right? <clears throat> CJ's hauling service. And you advertise as a hauling service. You don't advertise as a CJ hauling service. By putting a brand on it, you can charge more money. One of the big problems that is going on with small business is a lack of systems and processes. When you have systems and processes, you're able to scale. And that's the number one problem that we have with many of the solopreneurs. It's just one person running the business. There are no systems. There is no processing. There is no marketing. There is no branding. If you want to grow your business, you need to make those things like a machine. They need to be humping and humming. One of the things that I've did over the years is each iteration of this channel, I've branded it. When it first started off, uh, I should have called a channel storage auctions in action or something like this. The name of the channel was Glendon 007. I don't know why I came up with that, but I did do the, the branding. Today, this is Glendon Cameron, the author of Making Money with Self-Storage Unit Auctions, A to Z. And I branded the channel based upon this book. I wrapped the channel around this product. And this is one of the things that you can do when you're starting your YouTube channel. That's funny. All right. So when I started this channel for about five years, this channel <clears throat> was wrapped around this book, Making Money, A to Z with self storage and auction. You know, someone asked me, what book did I write? You know, there's Google, Glenn and Cameron, book. It would pop right up. Um, one of the things that I did that was smart was I wrapped the channel around this book, and the messaging was consistent for years. Hey, this is Glenn and Cameron, author of Making Money, A to Z with Stealth Storage and Auctions. That was part of the marketing. It is easier to market a brand than it is to market nothing. One of the things that happens is people will start businesses and they have no advertising plan, no marketing plan, no way to get to their targeted audience. And in many cases, they don't even know how big their targeted audience is or how little it is, or is it growing or shrinking? Like my target audience is young men, 25 to 35, who want a better life, who want to make more money. So I know that audience is ripe and robust. Uh, last time I looked, I saw that 98% of the people watching this channel are male, 2% female. So I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm getting my market to come to the channel. I'm getting people to invest. But if you start a business, you want to invest in branding, the profit hat, money, income, profit. I got three hats. Um, <clears throat> and one of the, the big things is a brand is something that you can build on. Hustle can make you money very quickly but it's very hard to build that into a brand. So, you know, there's guerrilla branding techniques very quickly. There's uh, there's many different ways that you can start. Like one of the things that I started with 
Disruptive Mail. That's a brand. And I started the new channel, which is the Influence Frame, because I saw that my brand, which was a really good brand, got associated with trash. And once your brand gets associated with trash, it can be hard to rescue that brand. So I keep the brand for the school, Disruptive Mail, and that's where the products and stuff are sold. But once again, you, you need to brand your business and you lead to learn how to market because marketing is saying business X sells Y, you know, ABC. That's marketing, you know, infusing your brand into your marketing. You know, Apple, whenever you see an Apple commercial, you know, it's an Apple commercial even before you see the product because their brand has a consistency, a certain type of fabric, a certain type of feel and look. And this is, you know, and they've done an amazing job of branding. And whatever you're, <clears throat> you're selling, go ahead and get yourself some T-shirts printed up. Get you some gear with your company logo. Get a logo made. You know, you can have one done on Fiverr. You know, it can evolve over time. And have yourself a press kit because that will force you to, to answer some marketing questions and branding questions because if you want to grow your business, it's much easier to grow a brand than a hustle. A hustle, you can make money. You can be rolling really quickly. But the limitation is a hustle is an, is an introduction to customers all the time. Because once you feel a brand, and this is the thing I've done over the years, is I've had brands that had people who bought every product. They're just like, well, this is Glendon Cameron. He's over here. This is what he's doing. This is what he has. And one of the things that I'm getting ready to do is to create some new brands and create some new information and training for you guys because there's there's so much more that I can do. So when you're putting together your brand, you need to understand like uh, you, you need to have a tagline. Because one of the things I haven't done since, you know, I'm in this fight with YouTube is because uh, this is a new thing because I'm cut down on the live streams and I'm posting more videos because see part of my issue with YouTube is they're trying to kill a channel and it creates problems for me how I deploy videos, but we're working on that. We're working on how we're going to set that up, but I'm going to become more consistent with look, feel, and theme of the videos. And we're going to get more into some training topics like today, branding and marketing. It is very, very important. And I don't think enough people put enough time into that because once you start the money train, once you start money coming in, these things tend to go to the wayside and it's all about the hustle for the next sale. And branding and marketing is something you think about. It's like, what does this brand represent? How do we market that? What does this brand look like? What does this brand feel like? What does it taste like? Um, I'll give you a good example of a very interesting brand. All right. Let's see. Ready? 
see, even the website has a lot of interesting stuff. World's first T-shirt bakery. Um, they have physical stores where the shirts are in ovens. He, I mean, they have put a lot of time and energy into the, creating this brand. And people go crazy and people love it. This is how the box looks because all this is part of branding. If you're selling a physical product, your packaging is part of your brand. And this is how they roll out. And he makes a lot of money because they've done an excellent job of positioning and branding their merch. Because what they're moving is merchandise. And they have a Raven fan base. So, you know, if you want to look at some branding, check out Johnny Cupcakes. How they get down. And look at this little guy. This is where the stores are. They have events. They do a lot of stuff that makes their brand very interesting, very appealing. And if you wanted to, you can get custom merch. And this just shows you the power of branding and the power of attention to detail. It's all these little things because I'm getting ready to revamp money, income and profit. Getting ready to revamp the everything. Because. You know, this is an excellent. Excellent case of a brand. And one of the things you want to do is like you should go to this website and look at what they're doing for their brand and ask yourself, why aren't you doing similar things? Because this is a very, very good example of a positive forward thinking brand. And you've got to brand your business. You need to sit down, take a few days, think about the name, think about the colors, think about all of this stuff that's going to constitute your brand. Because once you brand it, let's see. Because he's branded this, they charging 36 bucks for a t-shirt. And I can tell you that this T-shirt's cost at scale is probably two to three bucks. So they're making a lot of money because they're going at higher ticket size because they're a brand. And this T-shirt isn't just like one of the blank stock T-shirts. It has a nice feel, has a nice heft to it. And this little guy cracks me up. Here's one. You know, vibrant colors and stuff like this. So just take a moment, study Johnny Cupcakes and ask yourself, what are they doing that you can do? Or one of your favorite brands, one, you know, you can look at Apple, you can look at uh, Lexus, you can look at, you know, Ford, you can look at one of these iconic brands and see what they're doing to make their brand pop. And that what you can bring to the table to make your brand pop. Because during the internet phase, there are so many things that you can do to build and shape and create your brand. And it starts with just thinking. 
to help you with this, I have a blueprint. Be sure to get your free audio book. The link's below. And there's a pathway, if you're new to the channel, and you're new to me, of the courses you should take to build a proper foundation for you to grow a business. You know, you can do a hustle, which is quick, fast money. You may need to be in a situation where you need that. Or you can begin working on your business, which these courses below will help you achieve. That's the goal. That's the end goal. So I'm going to pop up a commercial here in a minute. See you guys later.